now here to uh, introduce the members of the uh, people who will be performing the song for us in the studio and also on the uh, the record. And uh, the name of the song is When the Radio Is On. Once again, here's Paul Schaefer. Paul. Thank you very much. Okay. This is a New York song from the album that combines the uh, influences of hip hop and doo wop. I'm going to introduce the hip hoppers first because they're the greatest. On my left, from the group Stetsasonic, say hello to Daddy O. Rapper Daddy O. All right. On my right, everybody's heard of them DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Please welcome the Fresh Prince. All right. Thanks for coming. Yeah. From the world of doo wop. We got him here, the lead singer of the Tokens. I used to call him the Weedy Deedy Man. Give us a little Weedy Deedy. Weedy Deedy. That's the boy. Jay Siegel, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him. Next to him, next to him, the greatest, the greatest bel canto in the history of doo wop and rock and roll. You know him from the Crest, 16 Candles. You know him from the Brooklyn Bridge, the worst that could happen. Johnny Maestro is here, ladies and gentlemen. to him, from CBS FM Radio, resident doo-wop expert and bass singer extraordinaire. How about it for Bobby J, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Honored to have this man here. We call him the king of the New York streets. His new record just hit the stands this week. It's called, uh, what's it called? And the Night Stood Still. You know him as Dion, Dion DiMucci, ladies and gentlemen. This woman wrote every song. She wrote Be My Baby. She wrote To Do Ron Ron. She wrote Chapel of Love. She wrote Leader of the Pack. It's Ellie Greenwich. Please welcome her. Thank you. She's the greatest. Carol King sang on this record. Carol's on the road touring. We couldn't get her today. A good, dear, close and dear friend of mine came in from Hollywood. Carol Kane is here. Substituting for Carol King. Thank you, Carol. Thanks for coming. All right. So it's doo wop, it's hip hop, it's a nutty thing. This is the international symbol. We're going to try to make them both work together. I got my fingers crossed. It's called When the Radio Is On. And it goes something like this two, one, two, three, four. Oh.
Cause you know the beat goes on They'll be dancing in the streets When the radio is on Down the block to the corner You can hear it all night long Up on the roof and down on Broadway When the radio is on You can rock around the clock Cause you know the beat goes on a guy you love him he comes out here he's tremendous funny talented gifted a wonderful man great guest we're always pleased to have him one of the biggest movie stars in the world he's got a brand new film entitled focus and it's in theaters and imax now i saw it in the regular format oh yeah it was delightful Ah. I can't imagine what it would be in imax you'd have to take a couple of months off too much <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Will Smith. Thank you very much for that. That's for you, man. Thank you very much. I want to that was for you. That's so great. Uh, I can't do that. No, no, you can. No, I can't do it. And, and you this can, was, Dave. It's uh, in you. We've known each other. There's a Negro inside of you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that's the best news I've had in years. <laughs> Uh, I gotta, oh, I gotta man. run home and surprise the wife. <laughs> oh my God! 
<laughs> it's uh, all downhill yeah, from I know. there. It's just no point. We're all, we're no point. Down from there, Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I've, we've known you forever, for, for God's sake. And every time you come out here, it, you give everything. You do. You leave nothing behind, and it's wonderful. It's and a very generous thing for you to do. Oh no, you pull that out of me, man. It's like a, it's, it's, no, no, you you're do. You're the guy. Do, you do. No, you're the guy. Okay. I, I mean, that's, I, I, okay. Yeah, you're okay. the guy. I, saw, no, I, yeah, yeah, I just love coming to see you, man. I saw your movie and uh, I, I dearly enjoyed this. I loved this movie. You know, you know why it was. It was. You said it was delightful. It is delightful. Yeah. Because you know what I, I, I see a, a, a lot of movies and, and a lot of them, uh, stuff comes from out of space. Yes. And, and uh, some of my stuff comes from out of space. Right. This one is is uh, is a uh, uh, it, it just you you love looking at it visually. Yeah. It's a great little escape, mm -hmm. and and it keeps you. Uh, is it this? I don't know. Maybe it's that. That's called guessing. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, your co-star in the film, holy yes. mackerel. Hey hey. What do you mean? No. Hey, I just said holy, holy mackerel. mackerel. That was yeah. like you were like whoa. No. Hey. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, that was a little hot. Oh, that's fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was almost nasty. And how, how about. <laughs> well. <laughs> how about that Gerald McCraney? Yeah, he's fantastic. You know, it's uh, the, the, uh, the cast for this, this film, it's just. You know, it was a really fantastic group of people. Mm -hmm. we, we shot um, New Orleans, we shot New York, we shot uh, Buenos Aires, mm -hmm. you know. So it was the, the, for us moving around, it gave it such a fantastic yeah. energy that I it's, think it's it, captured. It reminds me of a, uh, a different era, kind of a, a romantic, right. yeah, yeah, romantic yeah. crime con sort of uh, uh, thingy, thingamajig. Yeah. Thingamajig. thingamajig. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, and it was delightful. But, but the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but your uh, uh, co-star uh, is co like co-star is <laughs> uh, hubba hubba. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wonder, but it's like she's like Grace Kelly for God's yeah, sake. Yeah, you know she's um, she's timeless. It's a really weird yeah, thing because yeah. you know there's a you know photographers on the set so you know you see a lot of photos as you go through and she has this really uh beautiful quality where when you take a picture of her mm -hmm. you can't tell what era it was taken mm -hmm. in that's right you know when you see her that's beauty right. that's exactly right yeah you know you know you know perfect for this film yes absolutely. As, as as are you and and it brings to mind as you're watching it you think oh that could never happen i wonder if that happens and it's about uh, highly organized groups of men and women who are con con you know. artists now, yes. does that really happen yes. at that level yes at, that, at level? that level it was really amazing Amazing to to look into the world of con artists. We had a uh, a guy. His name is Apollo Robbins, and uh, he was our uh, technical advisor mm -hmm. on the uh, on, on the film. Now, where, where do you find a guy who knows about this? Come on, Dave. Las Vegas, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I went to I went to Vegas. Actually, it was Las Vegas. I went to Vegas to spend some time with us with him, and he was teaching about the concept of the movie. It's called Focus, right? So we watched this. video video that was basically, you know, a hidden camera at a fight. And so you see the fighter get hit, the guy goes down, everybody cheers. And we're watching it and it's like, oh, that's cool. He runs the tape back and shows us at the moment that the fighter gets hit, he goes in and 20 people are getting pickpocketed. Mm -hmm. Things are getting stolen and wow. things. And it happens in the moment when your focus is completely yeah. in another direction, yeah, right? Boy, like, well, in your this... car is at my hotel right now. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> well, let's mention the, the name of the woman. Is Margot Robbie? Margot it? Robbie, yes, oh, Margot. She's fantastic. God. She's uh, Australian. Stop, why, Dave, you're doing too much when you. Oh, my God. Now, let me ask oh. you this. No, oh. I'm not. <laughs> you're doing too much. I'm not man. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, have you seen the film in uh, in IMAX? In I no, I haven't seen it in IMAX. I'm but. going I'm going back to see it in IMAX. In IMAX. Because right. it so, was... so everything's bigger for you to see. <laughs> uh, I think we need to take a break here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back with Will Smith. <laughs> See 
this uh, film oh, opens uh, February 27th. February 27th, yes. And I and I looked at it, and I don't know exactly how old you are, but I'm just going to say probably middle age. Middle. And, and in the in the movie. <laughs> In the movie, you look, a, you look. I, I don't know, like a, it's unbelievable the like condition a, you're in. Like a what? Like, say, pick something. Say what I look like. <laughs> uh, Come on, pick uh, something. Uh, pick like, the, a, like a, a, a Grecian god. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, so, so are you in that kind of shape all the time, or was this just movie, or is this CGI? What am I looking at? <laughs> No, no, you know, it was, um, it, it was, you know, because Margot Robbie, is, when we started shooting the film, she was 23, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm 46, so yeah. You doubled the it woman's doubled, age. Yes, yeah, you know. So, we, you know, Jade and I were sitting around. We found out that uh, you know Margot got cast, and Jada pulled up pictures of Margot online, and she said, "Boy, you need to go to the gym right now." Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I started training immediately. I used to be able to pop in shape. You know, it doesn't... It doesn't work. Out. It doesn't pop. pop the other things pop But, but now, you're like. never... <laughs> You're never really out of shape, are you? You're one yeah, of those I try guys. To, try to stay, you know, pretty... Because yeah. I realized, you know, when, when... Right around when I turned 40, I realized it just has to be a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You can't go in and out. I used yeah. to, you know, train for four or five months and then eat what I want for the rest. Can't do that it no more. doesn't work that way, no. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me about your... Uh, you look like you got some male pokertude under there. What you yeah. got? You, oh, yeah, Dave. Yeah. You're not slipping? You're not slipping? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I call that man meat. That's, That's man right. meat. Yeah. Adult men in suits grope one another. Uh, no. <laughs> Tonight on CBS. Man, 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 yeah, man, 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 that man meat. What about that? Man meat. That man meat. Man meat. <laughs> Oh, good. Tell me about your uh, your family. I always like to quiz people who have uh, bigger families than mine because I have a lot of trouble with just one. Yes. Tell me, what is the focus of your family now, kid-wise? What are we up to? Uh, well, we, we have teenagers in mm -hmm. the house, you know, so it's teenagers, so it's very difficult. And, you know, 90% of the focus is, is Willow. 14-year-old girl. 14-year-old girl. Takes okay. all of the attention mm -hmm. you know I, uh, and this is uh, maybe was it hormonal changes that the yeah, four it's kids just, go it's through. everything everything it's like the world ends three times a week you know <laughs> <laughs> it's like 14 year old girl independence day at my house uh. every week is it yeah. um <laughs> is it because of peers is it because of a uh, uh, boyfriend well, 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 well I, okay so she has these cats. The last time she has these cats, and she loves these cats. And like we live out in the boonies, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, I accidentally left one of the doors open, and she couldn't find a cat, right? And it's a bad look for cats in my neighborhood, you know, because it's coyotes <laughs> and stuff out there. They just, they're not gonna make it, right? So so she was very upset, and she looked at me. And tears welled up oh. in her eyes, and she said, I cannot believe you would be that irresponsible. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, and there's, there's nothing, there's nothing that uh, destroys the heart of a, a yeah. middle-aged man. Yeah. Like the uh, disdainful sneer of a 14-year-old girl. Disdainful sneer. Yeah. And, and you acknowledge that she was correct. Yeah, she was right. So I called Jada to figure out what to do. And then Willow walked up and I was on the phone. And that was just too much for her. She said, the least you can do is look. <laughs> Baby, oh my God! Right, right. How, how long was, did this go on? No, we found the cat. Found the, cat. the cat was in the house. <laughs> oh, the cat was in the house. The cat saw that door open and said, "I ain't going out there." <laughs> coyotes out there. <laughs> oh my God! And then, uh, pretty soon, uh, did, did the girls date when they're fourteen? Hey, man. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. No, not at fourteen. I don't know what happened. What, ha what would they? What did they do back Just, in the eighteen hundreds? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was below the belt. I'm no, sorry, it was Dave. fine. That was no, it. Believe that me, wasn't it was fine. No, we'll, we'll measure it up at the end of the show and <laughs> see who owes who. Uh, <laughs> 
but uh, but you know, now, when I was a kid, probably 15 or 16, we maybe go to a movie. That would be a date. And has that has Willow done that yet? Yeah, you know, uh, not the one-on-one -on -one thing. So it's mm -hmm. like she'll go with her Classes, brothers, classmates, and friends, yeah, and stuff like fine. that. Yeah, yeah you know, all, yeah, uh, not the one-on-one -on -one thing. Yeah. And and are you gonna do some more music now? You know, every time there's a microphone and I do it, just yeah. it really gets me I excited. Well, so it was wonderful. You come out here and the place goes crazy. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. I love that. What do we? We have a, a picture. Yeah. What are we looking at here? What are we? Uh, whoa! Wow! What is that? That was. Paul did an, an album. That was your album. That's like, right, and you helped me on it. Yeah, I and rapped that's on that. That's Daddy O from Stetsasonic. From Stetsasonic, yeah. yeah you were, wow. We performed the song on this show, but back in the 80s on the other network, you know. Wow. It was like in the 80s, 89 or something. That's fantastic. Yeah, you were nice enough to uh, do a guest shot on that album, and uh, yeah. you were just getting started yourself at that yeah, time. Yeah, we have like a long history. It's like we're, what I was saying. We're like family, man. We are. We're exactly family. I you think. don't call me enough, man. <laughs> Okay, I'll start. Are you, this so you don't want me calling you. <laughs> but, but babe, is it, it's Dave. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Here's, the, here's the kind of call you get from me. Hey, uh, Will, I slept funny and my neck hurts. Does your neck, does your neck ever hurt like that? Will? It, just, it won't stop hurting. I don't know what it is. Uh, when we come back, we're going to take a look at the focus. I, I guarantee you, you folks are going to love the film. We'll be right back with Will Smith. <laughs> I hurt you myself. Were doing it. That yeah. hurt. You were doing it. You were doing it, man. Did you did you feel it? Uh huh. You were vibing it. It was uh -huh. like you were in it. I was watching your uh, movie, and uh, uh, I was curious because the the acting it seems so natural. Mm -hmm. And I think part of that is you make the commitment to the material on the page, yep. and sooner or later it, it does become of you. Yep. But is there a style of acting? Like you hear a lot of people talk about uh, method acting. Now, yeah. Are you are you that? No, I try like I tried that, you know, in the, in the early part of my career. What does uh, that even mean? Well, it just means that you it's full immersion into the character, right? So I spent for six degrees of separation. There was a nine day period where I didn't come out of character. Oh, I see. So before the whole sh shooting yeah, the movie. I, oh my! Right. So yeah. you just stay in, and uh, but what happens is you actually start messing with your psychology. I was working with Stockard Channing mm -hmm. on that that film, and my my character was in love with Stockard Channing. So, you know, I got in with all that, and then, you know, the movie's over, and I went home, and I was like, I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. I'm sitting there like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, I'm in love with Stalker Channing. <laughs> and that really was. I had gone so far in there, right. I was yearning to talk to her, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, no, no more method acting, because you get in. Uh, difference in the performance from when you were purposely trying this uh, method acting and, and when you're not? Is there... No. Yeah. It's, not, it's, so it's, not, it's like, it's not even a benefit mm -hmm. for that. You just feel crazy for, for longer yeah. after when you do it. Were you driving by her house? That yeah, kind of just stuff? driving. I was just, I wasn't, I would just sit outside. I wasn't <laughs> trying to see her, see her. But I'd just be sitting outside, like, hey, girl, you, where are you going? <laughs> It's good to see you. No, I was at the thing with what you call. Yeah. yeah. But worse, you know, there are worse things than falling in love with soccer. Training. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Let's uh, uh, tell people uh, what we're going to see here. This is uh, delightful. I said it again. You said it was delightful. It is. I, th they, I, I just think something else. Like, what else? Because like, I'm sure you have more emotions about uh, it. It it's, was like. It was compelling. It was compelling, yes. Yeah, and yeah, compelling. compelling and yeah, delightful. And, and it'll make you think. Ooh. Yeah, it, it'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. But most of all. It'll make you go hubba hubba. <laughs> Well, now wait a minute. <laughs> if you, what's going to sell more tickets? I know, yeah. It, it'll make you think or it'll make you go, hover, hover. You're right. You're my man. That's why you're my man. Thank you. Let's take a look at it. You know what we're going to see here? This is a, a clip of, of the movie Focus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think this is the part where she comes and she wants me to, to teach her. 
That's right. That's right. And it, it's, it's great because it's like every page. Oh, you think you know what's on this page? You go to the next page. Oh, I don't know. And you, you don't turn know another page. Yes. Mm, I didn't know that either. Except if it's a movie and you're not really turning pages. You kind of just... <laughs> you're not. He's right. He, it's a good point there. <laughs> it's focus. Take a look. Don't even think about taking a book. You see what I'm saying? Oh no. But there are more. More illusions mm -hmm. in the film than like a David Copperfield show. Yes. There's the, stuff there's coming stuff and going. Happening. Yeah, now that's the one thing that pe people are going to be uh, really surprised at how you can never, you never know no. what's going to happen in, in this movie. And I think, uh, I think people are, are really going to enjoy it. Uh, t t tell me about the, the, uh, the, the movie that you just finished working on, the football film. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, right, right now it's an untitled project. It's called uh, Concussion. It's about the... Uh, the, the, the brain issue Helmet, that football, the football mm -hmm. uh, players get, uh, CTE, so yeah. the doctor who discovered it. It's so. based on a story, and I think the, the, the doctor and the lawyer were both uh, kind of like small-time guys in, in Pennsylvania yeah. and Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh, and yeah. And they it, sort of figured this out. This thing out, yeah. And yeah. It's, now, uh, now, do your kids, uh, any of them play football? Yeah, my oldest son played football, and, it yeah. was, uh, and that was part of the difficulty for me with that role, because it's like there's nothing I uh, loved in my life more with my kids right. than watching them play football, you know, but I, I think that the film will be helpful in dealing with the issue. Yeah, but you know the the uh, the, the thing about it is even helmets really don't prevent conditions. Yeah, and that, you know that? that's you know it's a it is a difficult issue. It's an issue that the players are going to really have to focus on. You know, figuring out how to you know everybody has a role that they're going to have to work on it. But it's it's going to be you know it is a very serious issue. Well, uh, in the meantime, go see this. Uh, Dave, it's opening wait, hold on, hold on, it's hold on. Close. What? What? Before I go, listen. I was driving in the car over, and I, I knew that this was going to be you know. The last time that we do this together. No, and I don't no. want to get no, on No, 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 wait a minute. Why, what do you mean this is going to be the last time? I'm You're just, not coming back? But I'm not Why wouldn't you come back? You, not before you leave. No, no, come back. Why wouldn't you come back? Because this one was really good. And I'm really... <laughs> so you're saying, I'm too old to make it good again? <laughs> Well, I don't know. After this show, you got a little Negro in you now, so. <laughs> but I put together, I, I wrote down really quickly the, the top oh, ten things. Not. No, The really? top ten things that oh, I'm going to miss God. about Dave. All right. You know about this, Paul? <laughs> oh, I know about it now. Okay. You want the music? <laughs> From the home office of West Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes. The top 10 things I'm going to miss about Dave. Number 10, our electric sexual chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Number nine, me having to remind you every time, hey, man, I'm not Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, the way you sing to me and brush my hair during commercial breaks. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to miss that as well. <laughs> Number seven, the fact that you think a 67-year-old man can still pull off Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, how before every appearance, you would send Biff Henderson to my dressing room nude to ask me if I want to meet the little man in black. <laughs> Absolutely not true. That's absolutely not true. Biff? <laughs> Number five. The cute way your voice got when you begged me to please refer to you as DJ Jazzy Dave. That's right. Well, <laughs> what could it hurt? Number four. Your cologne. Wait, wait, no. This is supposed to be a list of things that I will miss. Ah. Hold on. <laughs> Number three, how the wind whistles through that cute little gap in your teeth every time you say Smith. 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 <laughs> Number two, the way you would tell me how you love my latest movie, but then gently shake your head that you didn't. 
And number one, the number one reason, the number one thing I'm going to miss about you, Dave, is how you would take me up to the roof after every appearance, hold my hand looking out over the skyline and say, OMG, I cannot believe I'm actually going to be Mrs. David Letterman Smith. <laughs> Wow. Now, in all fairness, <laughs> that was very funny. But the only one, the only true item was, was number one. <laughs> Good to see Thanks. you, my friend. Thank you, God man. bless Appreciate you. you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. We'll be right back. Rich folk, everybody. Nice going, Bill. Nice going.